All right, guys, welcome back. So the long-awaited, at least for my channel and for me, 50-15 um, blower style shroud parts cooling fan docked mod is finally ready. This is, of course, a remix. This is from Mr. Um, not Mr., but Moskulao, if I pronounce that name right, over on Thingiverse, who made this mod originally for the Ender... Uh, 2 Pro and Ender 3. Now, if you know the Ender 2 Pro, the shroud from the Ender 3 V2 Neo is the same, but they actually have a different heatsink side, which is a lot thinner. The V2 Neo has a wider heatsink, so the mod just did not work, so I went ahead and remixed it and made sure all the clearances were there so you can properly install this. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how you install this. You will need to buy eight, at least eight, uh, six by three millimeter neodymium magnets. Uh, they have to be pretty strong, so make sure it's those ones. And you will need four going on to the shroud itself and another four for the mount. This is a shroud, this is the mount. And I do recommend if you can, maybe to, to add these types of quick or JST uh, two pin connectors so you can quickly disassemble your your Shroud, if you need to do any maintenance, makes life a lot easier. If you want to know how to do that, just leave me a set, just post down in the comments and I'll show you how to do that. Um, the mount itself is back here. And really, the installation is as easy as it can be. You just have to take off these two bolts, remove your heatsink, and then you just literally slide the mount into place where these two screws go. And then you reposition your heat sink and then tighten it down and you're all set as long as you've installed your magnets beforehand with super glue you're good you're all set one recommendation i will make though if you notice is that my heat block is um i spun it i would say 90 degrees normally this would be going like that way so i'd recommend that you orientate this way so that when you put the shroud you can just quickly slide it in and out if you leave it the way it was, you're going to have to manually or put your finger in here to slide uh, this cable out of the way so it can slide in. So I recommend you just uh, rotate it 90 degrees uh, while you have the heat sink off. And of course, you'll have to just loosen up these two bolts here. And um, because you will be rotating it, you'll have to remove the two uh, screws that go in there. I haven't had those screws for a long time. I actually stripped them. But uh, you actually don't need them as long as the nozzle and the uh, the heat break is you know tightened properly. You you won't have any type of issues. I haven't had any issues, so I don't expect you to have any issues. That way, you can just easily inst um, put the shroud into place and remove it whenever you want. And um, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. The shroud has two cooling. Um, air, airways or ducts and it uses just one 50 15 blower the cooling is a huge upgrade if i say so myself it just blows up a lot of air compared to the original one and to put it back into place it's it's really that easy you just that's it you're set the reason i wanted this mod so much is because it, do, it keeps the bit leveler at the same um there's going to be two mounts uh there's a second mount that's going to be so that the shroud, you can actually put it a little bit higher than what it is in case you don't have enough clearance for your nozzle. Make sure you have clearance for your nozzle um, before you print anything else. Otherwise, your um, the cooling ducts will, will not work properly. So, But yeah, this is probably one of the best mods I have installed on this machine. So definitely give it a try. If you have any questions or any other requests, just leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. Peace out.